Thank you, of course, for hanging out with us on Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Mike Scow, alongside the champ, Laura Raisler of Oregon Track and Field, the 800-meter champ from the Outdoor National Championships not too long ago. Thank you so much for coming in and hanging out with us. Um, Thanks how are you holding me. up? How are you doing after the championships? Uh, it's been a pretty busy last few days and kind of crazy. Um, haven't had a whole lot of time to come <laughs> down, but starting to get back into training and everything. But we, we graduated the next day, then I moved to the next day, so it's been kind of... It's been a whirlwind, so there's yeah. really been no downtime for you. Not quite, not yet, but... Um, It'll come later, I guess. <laughs> I suppose. You're still working, but uh, uh, let's sort of press rewind for a little bit. C is there any way that you can put the outdoors into perspective? You've had a little time to, to let it digest, let it sit, but have you had a chance to just, uh, you know, sort of reflect on it? I've had a little bit of time. I think um, individually I did everything I wanted to do, not just this year, but my all four years that I was at Oregon. It was a steady climb and you know I had my ups and downs at the beginning but the last couple years definitely a good progression and to be indoor outdoor champ was definitely the way I wanted to go out and um, it sets me up well for later down the road and then um, it was a bummer for us not to be able to sweep both indoors and out men and women for the team title but for us to get third as for the women as a team was around where what we were supposed to get so um, I don't think that was by any means a disappointment. How about that 800 title? Um, from go going from second place last year to winning it this year how does that sit? How does that feel? Do you feel like you've you've hit that goal made that accomplishment? Yeah after coming after uh, last year my junior year getting second indoors and outdoors I was pretty hungry coming in this year because I, only, I definitely knew I was in the hunt for a title and there was no reason why I couldn't be up there to win it and so um, you know after indoors there's a lot more pressure and people expect me just to win that outdoor title easily but it's never easy to win and it's never easy to defend and especially when you're the favorite so it's a big relief for me and accomplished one of my goals for you know my collegiate career so how, how about the way the women's team finished? You, you go into that last day at the top, it didn't seem like, it really you just didn't have the bullets to fire in that last day, but coming out of it, your thoughts, your, your, your impressions on, on the team, how everybody uh, uh, competed. You know, we had a few mishaps the, the first day, and um, you know, we knew even though we would be on top of the standings the last day that People were gonna just rack up the points that fourth day with the four by one and the two hundreds and you know the hurdles and just the events that we didn't have a whole lot of people in you know our four by one you know had a few issues and um, we scored points where we weren't expected to score points so that really helped us stay on top of the you know charts the first three days but uh, we just didn't score enough to hang on but. Um, you know, all the surprises and all the ups and downs, I think uh, we're proud with how we finished out. And what does it mean when you're, when you're running the track, you know your family is there? You had, and, and you had quite the following there <laughs> at Outdoors as well. When we were talking about it, you know, in, in the, the media tent, you said, what, 20, 25 or so, the family was there. What was that like to have them there, to have them cheering for you? Uh, it meant everything, you know, obviously they cheered for all the Oregon people, but I especially, you know, they were a little biased towards me, so I felt like I had a little bit of an advantage, and um, just for, like, that many family members to come out and support me just, you know, shows what a strong support system I have, and they've been there the whole way, and, um, you know, I, I'm glad they got to see me run well and be successful. And um, it was like, it was pretty emotional just to have them all there, but it was, it was a, good, a good emotional. Let's talk about Fargo, talk about home for a little bit. Um, I know we've seen the stereotypes in, in the movie Fargo that came out. There's the TV show uh, about Fargo that's actually based in Minnesota right now. But when, when I mention Fargo, when I talk, when I mention home, what comes to mind? Um, definitely not the show or the movie. I have not seen the movie, and uh, my friends back home in Fargo who watched the show when it started were like, oh, you know, it's just not right. Like, that's just not how it is. <laughs> so I haven't seen it, but um, just my family and friends uh, just hanging out in the summers in Fargo, you know, people always associate North Dakota with freezing cold weather, but it does not snow in the summer. <laughs> so um, just having good family time, I definitely appreciate it more when I'm not able to be home as much. So. 
you know, I don't know the next time I'll get to be home, but um, to have my home come to me for the outdoor meet was pretty special. And sort of your home now, your college home here in Eugene, here in Oregon. Uh, what are you gonna miss? What do you? What do you? What have you enjoyed so much that you're gonna miss about being here? Eugene has become a second home for me, so it's really comfortable and definitely gonna miss uh, coming into just a group of a hundred friends right away. You know, and that's a nice support system, and you know we're all really close. And um, the atmosphere of the community and at Hayward Field, you know, you're not gonna get a better track environment anywhere else in you know especially in the u.s for sure and maybe even the world so um you know and that special cheer for when <laughs> for the people wearing the oregon uniform that's going to be definitely something i miss but um i'm going to be a duck forever so that's fantastic <laughs> now i'm new to the area only been here you know maybe a, not even a month but uh when, when i ask you about some of your favorite spots some of the favorite places that you like to go you know, what are some of those places that you think I'm really going to miss, you know, going to the movies here, getting food here, going to this dive spot or something? Uh, I really like Tracktown Pizza. <laughs> Don't tell Coach Johnson. <laughs> and, um, you know, just mostly my friends. I don't really have a lot of spots. I'm kind of a homebody, but um, I've met, you know, some really great people in Oregon, you know, with the coaches, the staff, all like everyone. And under the Oregon Athletic Department who's helped me out and um, you know those are people that I hope to be friends with for life. So. And what's next? You know you've closed the chapter on college. What do you do here? What do you do now? I'm well, kind of in transition. I'm, I'm gonna keep running professionally so you know there's steps I have to follow towards that and I haven't planned anything out yet so I'm just kind of in limbo but I mean just enjoying it and enjoying last week and just gonna let you know, let the chips fall where they do. <laughs> Laura Raisler, the 800 meter champion from the Outdoor National Championships just a couple days ago, a couple weeks ago. I'm Mike Scow. This is uh, Sunday Sports Extra.